Hello everyone, I think we are live now. I'm just going to wait uh, a few moments until somebody gets in my lesson. I think this light is very unnatural. I know it's dark and I have a light above my head and I look like a ghost. <laughs> but okay. So I'll just wait a few moments. Um, yeah, because I can see nobody has joined yet. And I'm very excited to meet you, really. Maybe before you uh, drop in, I'll just say a few words again about myself as usual. Yeah, I just want to say hello to everyone. Um, yeah, so my name is Barbara. I am a teacher of English. I don't know if a teacher is a good, um, good word for this because I don't work at any school. I have my own company and I teach English individually. I am trying to set up groups also. For the moment, it's just individual lessons with adults and with teenagers. I prepare for Cambridge exams, for Matura exams also. And yeah, currently I have summer holidays because most of my students were at school, school students. So they have holidays and I have holidays as well not willing to have maybe but i'm trying to use it to uh, build my company a bit more to show myself uh, in social media as well and um, i'm working to um i'm gathering a group yeah <laughs> so i'm building a group on facebook and uh, i want to get to people, get people to know me and to show them how I work and to get them moving a little bit in this group. That's why I created that group. Uh, at the moment, there's not much happening, but I hope there will be more. Yeah, I can see some people appearing. So um, yeah, maybe I'll just start to do what I wanted to do today. So the plan for today is um, well, the plan is to check your homework. Uh, there were just two people who did the homework. Well, let's say half of it, right? Um, what I wanted you to do is to um, find some of the words that we did on the last lessons. There was this word search that I gave you to find the word. I like this kind of activities, um, but no one did it, unfortunately which I thought would be quite fun, but we will solve the puzzle today. So I will show you what words were hidden in the word search, and I will show you what sentences you can make with those words. Uh, the second task that I gave you was to find a picture that shows your job, uh, describe the picture, and say something about your job. So what do you do at work? What are your duties, your roles at work? Yes, this is a second thing that we will talk about today. So I will give you some kind of uh, something that I call cheat sheet. Yes, so um, I will show you what kind of expressions you can use when describing your job, right? Um, okay, so maybe Hmm, well, we'll start with, okay, so talking about routines, that's, that will be the topic of our today's lessons. Well, maybe not uh, routines, but jobs, yes? Yeah? So routines at your job. So what is a routine? Routine is something that you do repetitively, yeah? So it's something that repeats, I don't know, every day, every week, that's a routine, yeah? Some kind of your habits that you do, yes? Um, uh, okay, so first, yeah, I just have my notes here because I have next, my next slide is a solution to the puzzle that I gave you. Uh, maybe first I will share this puzzle with you. Uh, yeah, I just need to share the screen. 
Um, okay, where are we? Okay, this one. Hope that works. You should be able to see it. Hopefully. Okay, you can see that. Okay, so this is the the word search that I gave you, and that was in one of the posts that I, one of the posts that I posted on Facebook. Uh, and your task was to find the words. Now, what words do we have hidden here? I don't know. Maybe any of you who are here visiting me, maybe you want to join in the discussion. If you have any words, uh, can you give them to me in the comments? If you can see any, maybe I'll do it like this. Okay, yeah, that's better. I think you should be able to see it. Okay, so I go to my screen and uh, yeah, I don't see your comments at the moment, but okay, I'll try, uh, I'll start to do the search because I've got the words. So I've got this magic pen here. That's the only thing that works here on my Adobe PDF. Okay, so the first word that we have here is sale. There were 10, 10 words hidden, yeah? So sale, that was one of those things that were in the picture, yeah? If you remember that picture, the funny one with um, a lot of things happening. There was this, some, there was sea and a beach and um, a stage with a concert and people doing different things. So I made a list of different, uh, of words, okay? Let's say these are new words that you were supposed to learn. So now, what are those words that were, are hidden here? So, okay, number one is sale. Number two is, okay, that was supposed to be just T, boat, yes? Okay, maybe I'll just do it like this, boat. Mm -hmm. Okay, word number three, dive. Next word is, blanket uh yeah i've got the same printers because you know i won't be looking for the words now i don't want to just spend time looking at the screen okay so peer is the next word here we have cheer and beer similar pronunciation if you've noticed cheer and beer right um, okay, I'm just checking the comments if anyone else is in. Just write anything, okay? Say hello or anything because I'm not sure if you can hear me, if you can see me, uh, whatever, yeah? I'll be glad for some kind of uh, conversation or reaction from your side. Okay, so beer and the next one we have sunbed yeah um okay another one is volleyball right and the last one i think that's the last one because there, there's no more castle sand castle okay so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so these are all ten words um that i have hidden here mm -hmm. okay so just coming back to my presentation yeah so you can see all the words i think i can just turn it off now because these are all here okay so now if i Okay, maybe that's not the good one. Yeah, so here I have a list of all those words that I just showed you. That's boat, sail, dive, blankets, pier, cheer, beer, sunbed, volleyball, and sandcastle. Yeah. Um, I asked you to make sentences instead of just putting the words in the comments because otherwise that would spoil the fun for other people looking for the words, yes. Of course, I know that would be simple sentences. So anyway, that would be a hint for other people. I mean, the words were simple. So that was just to show you this kind of activity that um, 
you can do, I mean, I often do at my lessons, yes, uh, to learn the new words. Mm. Okay, before I show you the sentences, I want to show you something else that I also do during my lessons. There is a website that I like very much, um, and it's called Word Wall. Okay, um, yeah, just uh, give me a second and I will share another screen with you. Um, okay, so now you should be able to see yeah, the word search that I have. This is um, the same that I gave you printed, but it's virtual. Okay, so I just got it from this website. So now what can you do here? If you click, yeah, it's just different exercises um, that you can do to learn vocabulary. And that's what I give to my students, okay? So now here we have the same words hidden, yes? Maybe just in different places, yeah? So we just have to find those words. I think I won't be looking for all of them, but okay, I can see volleyball. Ta-da, here we have it. Uh, sunbed, yeah? So if you click the first letter, I think first letter, maybe it doesn't, A. Okay, so you can click the middle one as well. So if you see the word, just click some of the letters that are in this word and it's revealed, yes? Okay, what else do we have here? Maybe you should be able to see it. I'll send you the link to this so you can do it on your own, yes? Um, to be honest, I don't see any dive. Okay, there's dive, uh, cheer, okay, and there should be beer somewhere with double E. Okay, you see, this one goes, um, yeah, it's slanted, so it doesn't go straight down or across. It goes just diagonally. Uh, okay, peer is here, peer is here. Um, what else do we have? I just don't remember all of those words. Maybe I have all of them, sale. Do you see sale somewhere? Um, I don't see it. Yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm not, um, I'm trying to do it fast, yeah, because I just wanted to show you what you can do with it. Okay, there's sale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's two more missing. Blanket. No, we have no we have blankets. Boat. So maybe a boat. Boat is here. Mm, sandcastle. Okay, that's that one is long. Okay. I think that's all. All right, yeah. Ta-da. So we've got them all. Uh, yeah, it gives you your timing as well. Mm show the answers okay yeah you can see the answers okay well anyway you can see uh what it looks like yeah um all right yeah so uh this is the kind of activity i do with my students um and you can do various games with this uh let me just show you what you can do i like it very much okay with this maybe not much you can do but anyway it's really, it's fun, <laughs> right? Um, okay, so maybe I'll just give you the link to it. Can I write comments? Can't post comments on Facebook groups. Okay, I'll send it to you in comments in other way because I cannot do it via StreamYard. This application doesn't allow to do all of things that I would like to do, yeah? Okay, so um now coming back to our vocabulary yeah the list of words that we had these are the words right and now i asked you to make some sentences okay so um since no one is willing to help me with it i need to do it on my own so what sentences can we make maybe i'll just open a clean word sheet and again, share it with you. And we can try to think of some sentences, yeah? 
Okay, so uh, let's say I put it like this. Okay, so one of the words I had was, I don't know, boat, yes? Boat. Um, of course, you can make a lot of different sentences, but uh, I don't know. My father has a big green boat. I know it's a simple sentence, yes, but I just um, wanted you to put that in the sentence, yeah? Uh, because you need to remember that learning vocabulary just by itself is not an, the best option. I mean, boat is a simple word, so boat is just an object, yeah? But there are some words that are Mm, difficult to explain just in Polish, yeah? So giving examples is something that is necessary in my opinion. And in the sentence, you can see if it's a noun or if it's a verb, how do we use it in the sentence? Okay, sail, okay, sail is an activity. So what do you do? I sail, you can say, I like sailing, yes? Uh, or I sail quite often when I go on, okay, when I go uh, on my holidays, holidays in the summer. Okay, I tried to make it a longer one, yeah, so that's what you can do. Dive. You can say, okay, I like diving. I don't like diving. Uh, uh, I don't, okay. I don't like diving because I am afraid of water. Okay, that's about me. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like swimming at all. Blankets, uh, blankets. Could you bring that red blanket, please? I'm feeling cold. Okay, blanket. We know what blanket is, yeah. So I can cover myself with my with the blanket. Mm, okay. I'm not going to put all the words in the sentences um, because I just want to give you examples of what I wanted you to do. Yes, uh, let me just see if there's anyone. Okay, just one person looking and no comments. Uh, still no comments. Okay, maybe let me give you two more examples. Um, something that is more difficult. Okay, cheer. Cheer again is an activity, so that's a verb. Um, the people in the crowd were cheering and shouting okay you need to know what cheer means yes it's something that people in the audience do they shout scream yes that's cheering clapping being happy i'm not going to show what they do what what it's like but okay <laughs> um uh cheering okay peer that's i think also more difficult. Um, yesterday we took a walk along the pier in Sopot. Okay, that explains really well what pier is. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I think I'll finish on this. So these are my examples. Of course, these are not all of them, but I think they show very well what I meant.
Of course, I am aware that your levels are different. And if you are a beginner or just elementary, of course, you will build simple sentences, yes? Um, any sentence is good, yeah? On your level, whatever you can do. Um, okay. Now, next thing that I wanted to do with you. Okay, the second task, yes? Task number two uh, that I asked you to do was to describe to post a picture and describe the picture. Um, and I also wanted you to describe routines, yes? Um, routines, I mean, yeah, what do you do at work, right? Um, maybe I'll just have a look at, Jesus, I just don't like it. Uh, when I want to open Facebook during my transmission, it doesn't let me, yeah? Okay, just want to have a look at, um, yeah, it's really, it's really slow because of the transmission. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I had two people who did their homework and I'm really happy that you did it. So Monica and Joanna. Yes, um, Monica, you sent me a picture of a desk. Joanna also sent me a picture of a desk. So, yeah, um, I guess you're working at the desk. Yes, um, Monica, in the picture, I can see a desk and the person working on the computer. I can also see a, a calculator, some sticky notes and a lot of financial statements. The person is sitting next to a window to the window yes on the right side of the desk we can see um, a white flower pot yes we actually can see that I'm not going to post it um, in my transmission but anyway if you look in the group in the post you will see that um, I really like this description mm, yeah it's a good one so yeah that's what I wanted to see yes uh, Monica, if you could also tell me what's the name of your job, yes? Uh, okay, I think that will be your next, next task, to tell me something about your job. It doesn't have to be true if you are afraid, yes? Just make a few sentences. Uh, what kind of sentences? I'll show it to you in a moment, yeah? Uh, Joanna, okay, again, we've got a picture of some folders on the desk. Um, okay, this picture presents my desk with binders, with ISO documentation. There is also a computer, pens, notes, and more papers. Yes, or a lot of papers. My son's photo is missing, but I haven't found such graphic on the web. Okay, so I guess you've got your photo on uh, your desk somewhere, yes? Mm -hmm. The daily work consists of verifying the compliance in the company's documents with the integrated management system on the basis of, okay, some complicated phrases. Uh, okay, so you verify the documents and drink a lot of coffee. That's what I understand. I think anyone who works in mm, some offices and at the desk drinks a lot of coffee, right? <laughs> I also like coffee. So why not? Yeah. Um, okay. So girls, really, I I am grateful that you did that exercise. You were the only two to do it. Okay. Um, yeah. I I'm. I, I wonder if. Um, yeah. There's nothing else I can do with it. But maybe yeah, we can. Um, Actually, I can leave it for the next week also. So if anyone wants to do their homework next week, I'm waiting for your pictures and some descriptions, okay, of that picture. Um, okay, but maybe uh, let's move on because I wanted to show you something or give you some hints, okay? 
about what you can do when you describe the jobs. Okay, so first of all, um, the next slide that I have here. Um, okay, this is just a list of jobs that you can have, yes. Um, so I'm aware that you can work in different places and have different kinds of jobs. But for example, we have um, jobs like these ones, we have got a president, a rock singer, a film director. Okay, film director is not a frequent one. <laughs> Which of you is a film director? <laughs> uh, a pilot, a waiter, a nurse, a teacher. Okay, I'm a teacher. Uh, a writer, a taxi driver, an actor. Okay, you can be a driver of anything, not, not only a taxi driver, so you can be a bus driver. Um, well trained, that will be something else. Um, a secretary, a boxer, yeah, a secretary is, um, I think, something that relates to those pictures that uh, that you posted, yeah? So a desk full of documents, that's a typical secretary, but not only, of course, yeah? A boxer, uh, okay, that's more connected with sports, uh, a doctor, a reporter, and a priest, a priest, okay. Uh, okay, so now we've got those jobs, and now you can try to talk about them. So what do they do? Yes, for example, a teacher. Uh, okay, because I'm a teacher, so let's say I'll give you an example of what I do. Uh, to talk about routines, you use present present simple tense, yeah? Mm. I'm not going to explain what it is. I assume you know it. Mm. If you don't know it, maybe we will do it on some of other lessons. Um, or if you want to know more about grammar, Mm, I'm inviting you to join my private lessons because I do a lot more in on my private lessons individual at the moment, yes? Um, okay, so when we talk about what, for example, a teacher, what does a teacher do? We use present simple. So a teacher works with children. A teacher uh, prepares lessons. Actually, I, I don't know what I can say about a teacher. I, what I do, I can tell you what I do every day. I have lessons on Skype. Um, I prepare tests and I prepare lessons. I check homework. And we do a lot of talking during our lessons. Uh, I work with books and I work with individual materials. I work with films from YouTube and not only. And I work with articles from the internet. I like working with authentic materials. Yeah, so we can read, we can talk, we can watch films and talk about it. Um, whatever level you are, yeah, so it's um, uh, adjusted to your level, right? Okay, so that's a teacher. Let's take some different job. For example, president. Okay, we can take a president. So let's take a president and, and that's when I can move on to the next slide. Okay, so this is my cheat sheet that I told you about. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Maybe I'll make it bigger like this. Um, yeah, so describe the jobs above. This is something that I often do with my students also. Uh, so we can ha we have a lot of phrases here that we can use describing some jobs. So, um, okay, if you don't understand some of them, you can just check them in dictionary, yes? Um, but okay, we started talking about president. So the president, what does he do? Okay, these on the right are more general. Yeah, wear a uniform. Does he wear a uniform? Uh, well, he wears a suit. Yes, he has to wear elegant clothes. Uh, a president gets up early. 
I think so. <laughs> mm. uh, he works indoors and outdoors. <laughs> That's not a typical job, you know, that you can talk about. Does he work in shifts? Mm, I don't know if you can say that he works in shifts, but I'm sure he travels a lot. Yeah. And he does a lot of paperwork. Well, I think he has um, someone to help him with paperwork, right? right. Uh, he, he talks a lot in front of TV or in front of people, in front of camera, yes? He shows up in TV. Okay, so maybe let's take a different job because president is a boring one. <laughs> um okay a taxi driver let's say yeah we've got a taxi driver so uh he doesn't wear a uniform he sometimes he works in shifts he works outdoors uh he works with people yeah uh he drives a car simply sometimes he works on the weekends i think uh he has a car yeah he has a mobile phone okay so that was the column on the right now when we look on the column on the left what can we choose here does he help people yeah kind of yes well we have to pay him for that but okay he helps people uh, okay make political decisions that was for president yes Mm, taxi driver doesn't have to. Well, until he becomes a politician. Uh, treat people, it's something that doctors do, yes? They help people to be healthy. That's what mean, it means to treat people. Um, okay, these, these were actually um, some of the phrases that I made up so that they are, so that you can say something about each of the jobs, yes? Yeah? So pray in church, that would be priest, right? Uh, play in a film, okay, an actor plays in a film, yes? Um, okay, but let's say we still talk about taxi driver. Mm, what can we say teaches other people? No, teacher does it. He doesn't work in an office. Okay, you can also put a negative, yes? A negation. Um, he doesn't work in an office. Drive a car, yeah, we have it down there on the list. So he drives a car, yes. Uh, he does sports. Well, in his free time, maybe he does <laughs> sports. Um, okay, so like you see, um, they are adjusted to those jobs so that you can say something about each of the jobs just in general, yes? These are the routines or the duties that you have, yes? Mm, so now um, maybe try to think, I'm just thinking about homework for you. <laughs> uh, I think what we will do, we will stay with that picture. So it's ongoing. I will ask you to do the same thing for next week. Find a picture that shows your job, okay? Uh, describe the picture, I don't know, just two or three sentences. We can see a desk, a computer, some documents. I don't know, maybe try to find something different than just a desk. Let's make it more interesting. I don't know what jobs you have, but uh, just write anything, even if you make mistakes, yes? So describe the picture and say something about your job. So what do you do? Okay, this is the list that I'm going to post on Facebook also, so you can use it, yes? So, I don't know, like, what job can you have? Shop assistant, let's say. So, a shop assistant. I have to wear a uniform. I have to get up early. I work in shifts. Many shop assistants do that, yes? Uh, I work with people. Mm, I work with computer also, if you need to work at the cash register, yeah. Um, I work at the weekends, for example, yes. 
so what do you do at work? I have to um, put the products on the shelves. I help clients. Um, I don't know, what do you do there in the shops? Yes, so I take money from the clients. I serve the clients, yes. You can use the dictionary to to find some phrases. If you have some mistakes, it's okay. We're just having fun here. If you want me to correct them, we'll do that, right? Um, it's not a problem for me. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think that's all for today that I wanted to talk about. Just talking about jobs and routines and solving our puzzles it's a pity that you weren't there i changed the hour to later one because i thought okay maybe 7 p.m would be better for you because you're at home and uh, you can join me but obviously maybe i just need to grow my group bigger yeah uh, well, anyway, everything is on Facebook. Uh, I'm also posting those lessons on YouTube so you can watch them and um, comment and to see what, what the lessons are like. You can join the group if you're still, if you're not in the group yet. I mean, this is transmitted in the group, so obviously you just see it if you are in the group, but I'm also posting the lessons on my YouTube um you can watch me on my youtube channel uh subscribe it i have some materials about english uh it's mostly my hobby channel which is scrapbooking so if you're interested you're very welcome to watch it uh but i'm starting to put some materials in english or and about english and about what i do and some pieces of advice for you to learn on your own um to learn english on your own yes uh so you're very welcome to join me um yeah so i think um that will be all for today I, I was happy to have you if you weren't there um happy to to be there if you watch me again yeah just the transmission uh recording um and I'll see you next week, um, at least for this summer, July and August. I'm planning to have regular transmissions with you guys. And then when the school year starts, I think it won't be so regular <laughs> because it will be more difficult for me. Uh, so join me and see me every Wednesday. Well, so far, that's the plan. Next Wednesday, I'll see you next lesson and just comment the tasks on the group let's make it um yeah more interactive yeah okay so thanks for watching me and see you next week i won't be repeating myself have a good evening and bye bye take care